Weekend, the city of Toledo, along with Lucas County prosecutors, the county commissioners and TPD are working together to host a gun buyback event. This afternoon, we have County Commissioner Lisa Sebecki with us to talk more about the event and the importance of it. Lisa, welcome. Always good to see you. Same here. Uh, so it's a collaborative effort, sounds like, with the efforts. Everybody's kind of involved with this. That's a good thing, I think. Everybody's involved because we're all in this together. Absolutely. We're all doing this together because we all understand the importance of getting these guns off of the streets and getting them disposed of properly. I think this is a wonderful thing. Uh, Prosecutor Bates' office is the one that's really hosting this. It's where the funds are coming from. And I'm really looking forward to this. They did it um, you know, like a year ago last June, and they were done in like two hours and five minutes. <laughs> People were lined up around the building. Um, and so I'm just really excited. I think that we'll have the same thing will be happening this Saturday. So the money comes from the Lucas County Prosecutor. Bates' well, office. It comes from her office, but it's not taxpayer dollars. Okay. This is money that she's collected from criminals. And so she's allowed to be able to spend this money there on events like this. So criminals paying back, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, I, I know it's no questions asked when you come in there to do this. Oh, by the way, we should tell it's uh, 10 to 2 at the Slovaki Center, correct? Yes, on LaGrange okay. Street. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, is it just regular folks bringing the guns in, or are you getting some elements, you know, that like, that's a good thing that they're turning some guns in. Right. Well, and we're not going to know because it's all anonymous. Yeah. So it could be, you know, just, it could be anybody. It could be your grandfather, it could be your grandmother, it could be whoever. And once, if they have a gun they would like to get rid of, feel free to bring it down to the Zabowski Center on this Saturday. What kind of guns did you get last time? Oh, they got a variety of guns. They got handguns, they got shotguns, they got just a whole variety of them coming in. Uh, uh, but on Saturday, though, um, you can get a gift card anywhere from $50, depending on the type of gun, all the way up to $200 for, the ga for a gas card. And also, they're going to have some gun locks, too. And um, if you have ammunition that you just want to drop off, now you won't get a gift card for that, but feel free to drop off that ammunition because they found last time that people want to get rid of their ammunition as well. Do you feel that, did, did you feel it did some good last time when you brought the guns in? Because, um, you know, sometimes the, it, the people that bring the guns in are not the people that shouldn't have the guns. You know what I mean? Or are they? Yeah. Because we don't know because they're anonymous. Yeah. So that's the beauty of it all. But, you know, there were people, you know, I heard stories last time. There were people that had had some sitting around. They, you know, didn't have a use for them anymore. Wanted to get rid of them. Um, people that maybe have been handed down through a will or what yeah. have you. And they just don't feel the need to have them around the house anymore. Interesting. Shotguns came in as well. Shotguns came in as well. Yeah. Are, are you... It's, it's great to see that everyone feels invested in this, and so the commissioners, although you're, you're the county, and this is a city of Toledo problem, but yet the commissioners all feel that it's worth their, their effort, too, to promote this. Well, we're all in this together. We're all in this together to combat gun violence whatever way we can, because we've seen so many different, uh, so many different events that's happening this year. Just this year alone, almost 30,000 deaths. That's almost 119 deaths a year by gun violence. But that doesn't even equate into the amount of people that's been shot, too, because not everyone that's shot dies. We all know that. So, um, and we also know, you know, just look around Toledo, there's some, you know, young kids that are, you know, just picking up a gun and just, you know, looking at it and wanting to, you know, see how it operates and it might be loaded. And then it, the unfortunate event is that kids also get shot as well. What is frightening is to see, yeah, these young kids out there with guns, kids 13, 14 year olds packing and like, how does that happen? Right. Uh, very good question. Very good question. But my message would be out there is if you have a gun, and it's, it's your right to have that gun, and we're sure. not taking those rights yeah. away, but I'm asking that you secure those guns. Put them in a gun safe. Put a gun lock on those. At least high. Well, no, not even high because little kids can climb, if you yeah. remember. True. It's been That's a while since we've had them. Yeah. But they do climb. So if you're going to put them up high, put them, um, have them unloaded, and also put a gun lock on them. Unloaded. That's great advice. Yes. Okay. Lisa Sebecki, thank you so much. She's a thank county you. commissioner, and there it is. 10 to 2 tomorrow at the Chet Zilbaki Center at 3015 LaGrange Street. Hopefully we get a lot more guns brought in to buy back. John?